And uh, the last thing that I have here is Walter Matthews. Loved hearing this because obviously we hired a new tight end uh, coach just two weeks ago, right? We had we had to make up for that. Uh, Piegler, we weren't ever too high on, but he was recruiting Walter Matthews, the number seven tight end, who is 6'7", 245, mind you. So if tight end doesn't work, uh, put on some put on some pounds and put you into the O line real quick. Um, he's had many conversations with with Callaway. Callaway has basically just picked up right where things left off with Piegler, is what it sounded like. He's like I've had a lot of great conversations. I'm ready to go meet him. Um, he's like, let's have. I've had conversations with him about life, all that good stuff. They plans to visit late June and early fall, and that's also when he decides to make his commitment. So again, back to what we were talking about just a little bit ago when we should start to see these guys uh, commit. But I, it was good to hear that Callaway is doing some work on the tight ends. I didn't hear much last year on Peekler doing anything. Now you could go and look and see, hey, who are they being recruited by and whatnot. And you would see Peekler's name on there a few times, but I wouldn't see. I would read interviews with, with recruits, and I wouldn't see Peekler's name. Uh, come up as much as, as, I mean, again, it's early and I'm already hearing from Callaway. Could it be just the fact that it is new and so he's standing out more? That's possible, but it is good to hear. Now, I'm, I'm, it's going to be something that we monitor over the next few months if the names like Callaway and Billy G Wagon start to become more of a, a consistent in the recruiting cycle. Yeah, and you didn't really hit on a tight end last cycle, so tight end is very, very important coming down we the didn't. stretch. Um, we did not, and I, I, I don't. As I said, I don't think anybody was too upset when William Piegler left to to go to the NFL. <laughs> so, I mean, Russ Callaway was actually kind of an upgrade from William Piegler, if you were to ask me, considering his resume. Now, if he can pull this off, I mean, this kid is, like you said, the number seven tight end in the class from the state of Georgia. He's ranked 122nd nationally as composite, 245. I mean, the guy's the guy's already big. He's six foot seven. That's a matchup nightmare right there. Uh, if you could get him into this class, and I know that maybe the way that Florida runs their offense with Billy Napier and uses the tight ends more in blocking situations than they do in passing situations may detour a tight end. But at the same time, if you're a really good recruiter and you can convince the kid that, hey, we are going to throw the tight ends, which they do in this offense. And we've seen it with Keon Zipper and Jonathan Odom and some of those other guys last year. Uh, could get him. I mean, that that's a good prospect. I mean, hell, 6'7", 245, coming right out of high school. I mean, that's that's pretty, you know, automatic there. And, of course, you got Arliss Boardingham last, last cycle. I hear he is two playing. Two cycles ago. At two tight end. Sec- that was yeah. two cycles ago. He was Billy's first cycle. He didn't play last year, I think, due to injury. So he's he's in his second. He's like a Trevor. He was on Trevor's cycle. Yeah, well, yeah. I guess I was that, was, that was the last cycle, right? Am I bad? I'm sorry. Yeah, Boardingham right? was recruited as an athlete, though. He wasn't, like, listed as a tight end. I remember when we were going after him that he was, I think, yes, he was labeled as an athlete, but tight end was definitely like what he was brought in to come and do. Now, yeah, something to yeah. be said too, 6'7", six, six, 245, we talked about, you know, he if he puts on a few more pounds, he could be an offensive lineman. Uh, Darnell Washington, tight end coming out of Georgia, what, what makes him really appealing right now is his ability to, to be, a, he's a great blocking tight end. Travis Kelsey, great blocking tight end, and also can run routes. Somebody that big, Right? That's a big dude. <laughs> a big dude. Again, having a, having the two offensive lineman coaches, that should be very enticing to you because as a tight end, you're 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 a dual athlete, right? You're playing. You're, you are offensive line as well as a wide receiver. Look at that. Now you've got Billy Gonzalez is going to be obviously helping with that. Russ Callaway plus that combination of offensive linemen. All that. That's not to be hyper focused on you. You got those guys all working on you as one. That's huge. It's a big pitch. Put me, put me, put me in, Billy. <laughs> let me, let me talk to these kids. Oh, yeah, yeah. Muddy Waters uh, just reminded me of uh, Livingston as well. That's right, because he was like a, I think he was listed as an offensive tackle or offensive lineman, but they converted him to tight end. So it wasn't. Uh, who's the? Was it Hanson? No, it wasn't Hanson. There was a Hayden kid. Hanson. Yeah, there was a kid who we had. He just kind of he he was part of this year's class. He was already enrolled last year, but he wasn't able to play. I thought he was a tight end too. I can't think of his name at the moment. 